Hello and welcome to Let's Play Solitaire. If you're new to this, we tackle a random game. If you end up liking this sort of thing, there's a playlist called Let's Play Solitaire with games just like today on this channel. There is also a playlist on this channel called Solitaire Tips with tips on how to get better. Uh, let's go ahead and get started playing, right? First thing I like to do is go for anything in the columns. Uh, I like to start with the aces first, of course, because that way I can take back some moves. Now, I did look at the draw pile. I normally don't. There is a jack here. There is a 10. Something to watch out for, but we're not going to... We're going to go back here and play what we can. So, ace of spades we can play. Jesus, wow. Okay, so we're faced with an option here. We got two queens. I think this, this queen is a good play. I don't know. This is looking too easy, actually. Let me try this queen see where that goes that's a dead end okay where to go with this queen here and okay so the only downside here is we don't have any open columns we may want an open column uh, for a king later on something to think out for when we have to figure out a way to move cards in the draw pile I would like to save this as insurance so I'm gonna hold on to that we will move that at a later time here we have the open slot. We wanted an open slot for kinks. So we did that there. And, uh, yeah, let's just go through ace. Now we can move all these clubs here and diamonds. I think we'll put the five here just in case. So we're making pretty good progress here, actually. Uh, so it's basically going to come down to can we manage this draw pile? If we can manage this draw pile, we can solve this. If we can't, we're in trouble. Uh, we do have the problem of, you know, two jacks here, and our black queen is right there. That could actually be a pretty big problem for us here. Pretty big, actually. We're going to see... We'd like to be able to get to this queen, too. I'm going to see what's in front of that real quick. So there's a jack here. There's a seven. We may have to go all the way back and sub out this seven for the seven of hearts there. Because we want this queen. Or we need to figure out another way to get to the queen. So that might be something we have to change. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We can play this 9. We can play this jack here. We could play the 7. We could play the ace. But this king would be a good play too. Uh, I, think we can, I think we can still get to it. We'll have to look at that. Uh... I may have to redo that last sequence of moves. We'll see. Oh, there's the king. Okay, we got that good. There's the queen. Now, you know, can we get to... Oh, wait. We had a 10. Oh, we can't play this 10 yet. Looking at the red 10 there. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go back quite a ways, actually. Because I don't think this sequence is going to work. I think we're at a dead end here. Unless we could do something with, like, diamonds and clubs, maybe. And, yeah, I don't see that happening. So what I, th I think needs to happen is we need to get to the queen so we can move this jack or even this jack right here. So what we need to do, there's a seven right here. This seven needs to be swapped out for the seven of hearts. So we cannot play this. The seven of hearts has to go back to whichever place it came from. So let's just back up quite a bit here. And go back to where that 7 came from. Okay, so the 7 came from right here. We put it up here. We thought, okay, free up some space. Sounded like a good idea at the time, you know. And the thing about this game is... Every game is a little bit different, so sometimes it works in one game, doesn't work in the other. So, okay, we'll throw all these cards here. But the important part is we have space. We still have a lot of space, so we have space for that seven. We're going to get it. Not yet, but we will. I'm just going to move a bunch of cards up here. Yeah, so... Okay, there's a seven. We're going to save this. This is going to be our insurance card. And then we'll 
do that sequence, but we're going to see what other cards we can move here. Let's see, nine we can move. Jack we can move, and we can move, I think, the Ace of Hearts the next time around, too. We can also, oh, actually, we can move it right now. Okay, so that's up to the foundation pile. Making some progress here. Two of Hearts we can now play. Go through one more time here. And I believe... Oh no, we can play this king. And I think this 10 could be played as well. So we're going to go through... And I'm, I like to play out of the back of the draw pile to just try to maximize the number of moves that we can make. So now the fun begins. We're going to play this 7 right here. And we're not going to play anything else. This queen's going to drop. The next time around, we're going to play the four diamonds, and then the time after that, we'll play the queen. Because we want to play the four diamonds, maybe five of diamonds, six of diamonds. Or something like that. So, maybe not in that full sequence here. So, four diamonds we'll play. Five of diamonds we play. We can play the six of diamonds at a later time. And it won't be this time. Because it's, they're removing two cards. So now, now here's the part where we get to see if we're really good at managing the draw pile, we solve it. If we're not, we're in trouble. So here's the jack right here we can play. And that leads us, that gives us a potential path. So I'm going to stay with this path. So eight of diamonds goes there, eight of clubs goes here, or it can go up top. I'll put it here for now. Nine of clubs is a good card. There's a king. So we're not going to be able to play the first two cards, the jack and the ten, because of the way we went. But I think if we should be able to to get a bunch of cards up, and actually I'll just put some of them up right. Well, I'm going to hold off though. Let's just start playing what we can. So five of spades, three of hearts, maybe. Maybe, an, oh yeah, we can play that. That's fine, that's fine. Because we can play the seven of spades here. Or can we? Let me see here. I'm going to try this sequence. If this doesn't work, if I'm bottlenecking, then I'm going to try something else. So we need to find a combination of red card or black card. Red card and black card. So we could go clubs, diamonds, clubs, hearts. We need to be able to do that to get to uncover this nine of diamonds here. So eight of clubs. We could do nine of clubs there. Okay, so I believe, yeah, we can do six. We might be able to do both cards, so that's looking good here. But you need to be able to basically, at the end of the game, when you're in a situation like this, you need to be able to, to find a combination of cards. So here we go, eight of diamonds, nine of diamonds. That was what we needed to do. We got it there. That's probably not the, the best example, because that was actually easier than I thought it would be. But here we go. Ten of hearts, we go spades, clubs. And now we get the heart up there, Jack of Hearts, that allows us to bring these last two cards down, and we solve it. So pretty cool. Got it done there. Hopefully I was able to learn a trick or two. Uh, and as always, if you like this sort of thing, there's plenty more games on uh, this Let's Play Solitaire playlist. There's also a playlist with lots of tips on how to get better. It's called Solitaire Tips. In my opinion, these are the best two videos. They're not the most watched, but... In terms of information and stuff, if you're looking to get better, I would highly recommend checking these two videos out if you have not already. And uh, yeah, I'd just like to thank you for watching and wish you good luck.